Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. You stay here and keep an eye on things. Okay, but don't get the impression that I'll leave you alone inside the mansion. Keepers. Poe's prophetic raven. Sixteen ninety-three. This house is much older than it seems, but the architecture seems too recent. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Poor kid. I'll have to find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Give me that.
control yourself, old man. You've got guts, you little bastard. You and I have got some talking to do. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked, and I make sure it stays that way. You're no match for me, Winchester. Stop. <clears throat> you win, you crook. Take this damn key before I change my mind. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Pierce, shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Do you have a moment? What now? Nothing. Sorry. Stop wasting my time. Let's take a look inside. I'm coming with you. There's no way I'll leave you alone in there without a watchful eye. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins' family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The 
perfect picture of the middle class family. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Did it stop at the time of the fire? They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Did someone escape the fire? attempt to flee. Huh. And the boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I suspect a crime of passion. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the bloodstains, I'd also say that it's the same person. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. Is 
This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. There's something disturbing about this painting. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Locked. The boys' room. Child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an eleven-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What was going through that boy's mind? What will her room reveal about her? Perfect. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment.
Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Bradley? Is that you? Is anyone there? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. This door is blocked from the outside. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Seems like this came from a log. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. It looks like an old seaway map. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log.
Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater's shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. I'd be better off not touching them. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Great. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. Well done, Pierce. Charles Hawkins was a sort of traveler, right? More like... An adventurer, I guess. He left for months, exploring remote places and abandoned temples. <laughs>